Hey everyone, welcome back to Wrath of Math. I'm your host, Sean Ian, and in today's video we'll be answering the question, what is a walk? This is where we start to get to some of the cool stuff in graph theory, so without further ado, let's get right into it. And here we've got our slightly ugly, but I hope you can read it, graph G. So let's say you and I are intrepid travelers, and we are traveling through this graph G. Suppose we start at the vertex V1, and then maybe we go over here to V2. And then let's say we come all the way over to V3. And then maybe we mosey our way on over, over here to V4. And then let's say like a bunch of hooligans, we go back up to V2, back over to V3, again all the way back to V4, and then down here to V6, and then we stop to finish this lesson. Now I know those red dashes are a little messy, but what we have just described is a walk in G. But what is a walk? What makes what we just described a walk? Well, let's give our walk a name and we'll talk a little bit more about it. Let's say our walk is called W. What a walk is, is a sequence of vertices in a graph where consecutive vertices are adjacent. So how could we describe our walk? Well, we started over here with V1. Then we went to V2, then we went to V3. So let's write those, V1, V2, V3. Then we went to V4, then we went back to V2 again, then we went back to V3 again, then we went back to V4 again. So we went to V4, back to V2, back to V3, back to V4, and then lastly, we went down here to V6. So that's where our walk ended, and we closed the parentheses. So this describes our walk in G. You can see that all of the consecutive vertices are adjacent in G. So when we were describing our walk, we only traveled through edges. For example, we never went from V5 to V1 because there's no edge joining those vertices. So if we were to do that, that wouldn't be a walk. In a walk, like I said, consecutive vertices have to be adjacent. But besides that, there are really no restrictions. Like you saw, we can visit the same vertex multiple times, which we did. And of course, you can also traverse the same edges multiple times, which we also did. Of course, there are special names for walks that do follow additional restrictions, but we're not talking about those in this lesson. So let's talk a little bit of vocabulary real quick. Every vertex that we traverse in our walk, as well as every edge, can be said to lie on the walk W. So for example, the vertex V1 lies on W, and the edge V4, V2 also lies on W. We could also describe our walk W as being a V1, V6 walk, because we go from V1 to V6 in the walk. But here's a question. How many edges did we traverse in going from V1 to V6? Well, we can count them up quickly. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 edges. We traversed 7 edges in the walk W. So we can say that W has a length of 7. The length of a walk is the number of edges, distinct or otherwise, traversed in the walk. By that, I mean it doesn't matter if the edges are distinct or not, they still count towards the length of the walk. So if you just went from V1 to V2, back to V1, and then back to V2, and did that a million times, the length of that walk would be 1 million. If we wanted to describe W some more, we could say that W is an open walk, because the vertex we start at in W is not the vertex we end at. V1 is not equal to V6, so we say that W is an open walk. And as you can imagine, if we went from V6 back to V1, which is where we started, then we would say that W is a closed walk. So an open walk is a walk where the first and last vertices are distinct, and a closed walk is where the first and last vertices are equal. And then, just one more thing. Let's say we have another graph. I'll just make it a simple graph. Let's say u, v, and we'll call this vertex x. Then let's say we have a walk that starts at v, and that's it. That's the end of the walk. 
This is called the trivial walk. It's a walk of length zero, because not a single edge is traversed during this walk. Now that sure is one heck of a walk. Trivial it may be, it is a walk. One last time, a walk in G is a sequence of vertices in G such that consecutive vertices are adjacent. So I hope this video helped you understand what walks are. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching, I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math videos on the internet.